Looking for a video editing computer can sometimes be a headache, especially when you have a budget. Well in this video I will tell you what specs you should be looking for when buying a laptop for DaVinci Resolve. The ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16 is a great laptop for DaVinci Resolve. It has all the ports you could ask for including a micro SD card port, 4 USB ports, 2 in which are Type-C USB ports and a headphone jack. It also includes a Ethernet port and with all that said guys, this is definitely what every content creator would want. It has every single port that is very useful for a content creator. From the Ethernet port to the USB Type-C port to the headphone jack to the regular USB port it has it all now let's talk about the specs that makes this laptop perfect for davinci resolve for the cpu it has the intel i7 11th gen processor which is a 2.3 gigahertz 8 core processor the gpu is the nvidia rtx 3050 ti which has 8 gigabytes for the random access memory it has 16 gigabytes it also comes with 500 gigabytes SSD which comes in handy when running Windows 11 and opening different application. It also has Wi-Fi built in which is really reliable when you're on the go. Now let us test this computer inside DaVinci Resolve. Alright guys so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve so I'm just gonna do a little 4k footage editing from my iPhone so I'm not really a user of DaVinci Resolve so i'm just gonna do a, a quick export maybe do a little bit of color grading i don't know but i'm just gonna do a quick export and show you guys how well it angles um davinci resolve on this computer so let's go ahead and import that file right now so this is the playback speed so i'm just gonna press play video is recording so hey what's Will the ASUS Zephyrus M16 be able to run Photoshop? That is what. So, as you guys can see, it's kind of like a behind the scenes of my video that I upload the last time. So, that's why it's kind of like it's uncut. This was the uncut file. So, you guys didn't see all the messed up that I did. So, let's go on over to edit. And. Let's give this a playback over in the edit tab. Video is recording. And while it's, hey, while it's playing back, guys, I really don't see any lags or anything. So that's really nice, to be honest. That's really nice. So I'm just going to scrub through and see how well it scrubs through the timeline. Again, guys, this is a 4K footage. And I'm not seeing any lags. So it scrubs through pretty nicely so let's head on over to color and let's just do a little tweaking so let's do you the glamour let's try to do some weird color effect i would say yeah let's do some weird colors all right so let's go on and export this file so let's put it at the location yeah let's put it in videos for now and let's call this davinci resolve test so davinci resolve test so let's change the format to mp4 and i believe the rest should be okay yeah i believe the rest should be okay so it's actually going to export in 1080p so that's pretty nice so it's not really 4k but you guys get the idea so let's go on over and add to render queue and so i believe this is rendering in actually real time so it's rendering frame by frame or I guess couple frames by frame. Yeah, it's skipping a couple frames. So it's not really frame by frame rendering, but 
it's doing a pretty good job so currently it's at 10 percent so it's really running good also guys let's look at the task manager and see how well it's performing also guys that's not my computer in the background if you're a fan that's actually my heater so let me turn off my heater and the fans on my fan on my computer is actually calm you're not really hearing anything so that's really nice so let's go to task manager and see how it's going on so it's currently using 10 gigabytes out of my 16 gigabytes so i have pretty much a lot more to use it's using 100 percent of the cpu and 12 percent eight percent of the gpu and 24 percent 24 percent i mean so i actually have two gpus you have the inter internal one and you have the one that's plugged in which is the nvidia geforce so it's currently using 30 percent 29 percent around there but it's pretty nice and we actually have a lot of memory so we could go ahead and go to chrome and maybe watch a youtube video while this is going on so let's do that let's go to chrome and watch a youtube video in the meantime so let's see what we can watch while it's exporting so while it's while it's exporting and we're using youtube i also want to see how much memory it is actually using so let's go to task manager performance so currently it's using 10 um, memory 11 memory now 11 gigabytes of memory so let's go to, to my subscription actually let's go to mkbhd and let's just watch his latest video because why not so i'll explain in 4k uh, wow I'm able to watch 4K videos while exporting a file in DaVinci Resolve and it's still going like look let's window tile this actually like look at that guys look at that isn't that a powerful laptop right there guys damn that's really nice that's really nice guys so I'll catch you guys back when this is finished exporting but it's going really fast as you guys can see it is going really fast so i'll catch you guys right back it's almost done two percent let's exit out of that and let's go here so now it's complete so right click open in file location and let's give this a play and see how well it does so yeah really nice it has like a purple look to it playback's really good nothing look compressed or anything like that so yeah here are my final thoughts on this computer for davinci resolve i was able to multitask while editing my videos the playback speed was really great and the export time was really fast for a computer at this price if you're looking for a laptop for davinci resolve i would definitely give this a buy there will be a link to purchase this laptop below the like button if you purchase it using that link that will support this channel let me know if you have any questions about this laptop or if you have this laptop already let me know what's your experience like thanks for watching check this video out where i talk about the best laptop for after effects